Okay, so here we are. What we're going to do today is we're going to tweak this computer so it runs a lot quicker and it starts up a lot faster. Now there's quite a few things you can do to tweak your PC. Uh, we're going to do a few of them now and the first one we're going to deal with is all the stuff that starts up when your computer starts up. A lot of the stuff that's been programmed every time you install a program or a piece of software puts a little entry into the computer startup menu to start up part of that program. Now you don't need it to. All it does is lag your computer down and, and slow it up. So what we're going to do is we're going to free some of that up now. It's really easy. All we're going to do is move our mouse down to the start button and left click. That brings up the start menu. Everybody knows that. And then all we do is move the mouse into this little box here and left click. And then we're going to type msconfig like that msconfig now that brings up this here that says msconfig all we're going to do is we're going to move our mouse over it and left click right that brings up the system configuration menu uh, there's one or two tabs at the top there's actually five so there you go can't even do maths today <laughs> there's one two three four five we don't need any of these or this one here what we're interested in is the startup section so move your mouse over the startup tab and then left click bang there we go that's everything that starts up when this particular PC starts up now a lot of this we don't need um, some of it we do uh, it's pretty easy I'll take you through what you do need to keep and what you don't so let's start off with what we do need to keep the important stuff um, there's pretty much one thing really and that's your antivirus now this here ESET smart security is the particular antivirus I'm using now if I untick that box like that that means that that's not going to boot up and start up when my PC starts up and that's important to keep uh, you might be using um, AVG, McAfee or Norton um, or Kaspersky or any other antivirus like that whatever you're using if it's listed here it say, if it says McAfee or Norton or Kaspersky leave it ticked okay don't touch it just leave that tick in there and then it will it will still be active on your computer the minute you untick the box the next time you boot up the antivirus won't start and that will leave you unprotected and that's not good so I'm going to leave the ESET smart security now underneath Adobe updater we don't need that okay for what if I want to get Adobe updates it comes up automatically when I'm online anyway and tells me I need a new update so we don't need that Google toolbar notifier I don't need that loading up either and um, again if I've got that installed I can just manually update it anyway Skype now if I want to use Skype I'll load Skype I don't need it to boot up every time a PC does uncheck, uncheck that uh, daemon tools again that's uh, some mounting software if I want to use it I'll just load it up it doesn't need to start up every time a PC does PDF 24 creator I use that quite often and I like it so I'm going to leave that on that's my choice you can do the same thing remember the more you get rid of the, the quicker it'll be by the way Trojan scanner again if I want to do a Trojan scan I'll load Trojan scanner up so I don't need that catalyst control center now that's a graphics um, uh, it's like a graphics tweak software that comes with my graphics card as long as the main drivers are on there I don't need that if I want to change the resolution or anything like that I'll just go through the Windows own um, like settings I don't need to use the catalyst so I'm going to get rid of that as well that doesn't need to start up quick time if I want to use it I'll load it power ISO if I want to use that I'll load it iTunes again if I want to use it I'll load it groove monitor for Microsoft Office if I want to use it I'll load it up anyway Dropbox, now I use that quite often so I'm going to leave that Google Calendar Sync, I don't need that and in fact that has been giving me errors when I boot up so by unticking that, that not only am I going to boot up quicker it's going to get rid of the error as well so once you've gone through the list and left the most important things and the one or two bits that you want to load up when your PC loads up once you're happy with un unchecking what's useless to you you just move over to apply and then left click apply now you'll know it's done it because it comes up with the date and time when it was turned off in that little section there that says date disabled so you know that it's applied the the um, the tweak so then you just press OK and that's the startup done so next time you reboot you should find it reboots a heck of a lot quicker depending on how much you removed try and be ruthless with it if you can and you'll see more results of your computer running quicker and starting up faster right the next thing we're going to do 
is we're going to change the power options of the computer to make it run quicker. 